welcome back to Movie Fives here on our channel. We love talking about our favorite shows. We react to the latest trailers. We do unboxing videos for the new releases, and we also do giveaways to show our appreciation to you all. And also, like today, we do movie reviews. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, well, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you're hitting that notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. So today, I got a brand new early review for you all, and that's for the film Missy Link, which hits theaters on August, August, April 12th. I got the chance to see it a week in advance, and uh, I'm here to share my thoughts with you all. But before I get into my good, my bad, and give you the score at the end of this video, I want to know in the comments right now, guys, if you are excited for Missy Link. If you've seen the trailer, if you thought it was more kid-friendly, if you thought it was really interesting, let me know in the comments. And then, of course, if you've seen the film, let me know your thoughts on the movie. But with that being said, let's talk about Missy Link. All right, so like I do with all my reviews, I like to start off with the positives. But before I do that, I have to mention, I rarely see a movie that I have never seen a trailer for. I really don't do that because as you guys know, we do trailer reactions. I love trailers, but I have not seen a trailer for Missy Link. I knew a little bit about it because when I did our movie and TV bucket list for the month of April that we're in, I saw Missy Link was coming out. I saw who was in it. I saw a little bit what it was about, but I really didn't know because I didn't see any, any, you know, trailers for it. So I came in this film, which is very rare, very cold. I knew very little about the storyline. And I'm here to tell you guys about all the good and the bad with that storyline. So up top with the positives, I got to start off the voice acting. You know, again, I did my research prior to seeing the movie because, again, I did our, our TV uh, movie and TV bucket list for this month, which you guys should check out on our channel now. But I saw, you know, the Hugh Jackman, you have Zach Galifianakis, you have Zoe Zaldana, you have Emma Thompson, really great cast. So starting with the cast, great acting, you know, because one thing about voice acting, I, I love a good animated film, but sometimes you see these big actors uh, do the voices of these characters. And sometimes you're like, it doesn't translate well. It's like, oh, I want to, you know, I can't, I, I hear their voice. I love their voice, but I, I, I can't, it doesn't fit well in the animation style, but I have to say everyone involved fit perfectly to the T. You have Hugh Jackman uh, playing Sir Lion Frost, who is the kind of the monster investigator in this film. And again, I won't give away the plot because, again, I went into this cold, and I think that really enhanced my experience with this film because I, 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 I knew very little about it. So I won't get into the synopsis, but I'll just say Hugh Jackman character is a monster investigator. You have Zach Galifianakis playing Bigfoot, and you have Zoe Zaldana, who's like an adventurous uh, uh, woman in her own right. So the characters are great, and everyone from Emma Thompson and everyone else in the cast just did a really good job of it and kind of embracing their characters, and you can hear their voice, and they can picture their face doing the voice but it just really kind of it didn't take away from my experience you know I didn't think oh that's Hugh Jackman he just was the character and I enjoyed that Zach Galifianakis Zoe Zaldana I love the voice acting in this movie but also one of the things I also did I, I really want to touch on I saw the trailer after I saw the movie and I have to tell you guys the trailer did not do the film justice because when I saw the trailer when I got out of the film I was like this is very which it is a kid friendly film just like any like a film which I'm a big fan of like a whether it's Coraline or you know when when it, Kubo and the Two Strings came out a couple years ago I love that film so they have you know, kid type of themes to the film, but also adult different, you know, adult themes going on with a good time. I think they're one of those studios that do a, the balancing act like Pixar, where they address the kids stuff, you know, to get the kids interested and keeping them intrigued in the film. But they also attend to the adults because if the kids aren't liking the movies, the adults aren't going to like the movie because the kids not paying attention and, you know, all that stuff. So I think like it does a good job of that. But going back to what I was saying, I didn't see the trailer and the trailer after the fact really made it feel like it was this kind of goofy kid kind of movie but it, it and again it has kid moments and I'll get to that a little bit later but it's definitely a fun adventure film with a, adult themes has some dark moments at time and I really love that about Leica Studios when they do that again they do a really good job of, of, of attending to both audiences the kid audience as well as adult audience so I definitely say if you've seen the trailer it is more than meets the eye to this film than just a silly kind of throwaway film Definitely the trailer does not give this film justice. Another thing I really kind of took away from this film was the actual message. I really enjoyed the message of, without giving too much away of, thinking you have to fit in with a certain group and, and, and just going by the rules or thinking this group has, you know, they don't respect you, but you just want to be a part of them because you think that's going to fulfill your life or fulfill a dream you have, which I love that message in the film where we have our two main characters. Again, without giving too much away, they think they have to fit into a certain stigma or a certain group of people and they think it's just going to make them feel happier, which, you know, and I won't give too much away, but we see kind of the true meanings of these groups and, and they kind of find themselves within that. So I really like that message of the film. There's other little messages that we get in the film. Again, 
like it is a good job of, yes, it's a kid-friendly movie, but it has some themes that we could all relate to, and I really appreciate that about the story that we got in this film. Before I pinpoint on some of my standouts I, as far as scenes that I love, because the animation from Laika is just so beautiful. Again, I think of Kubo and Two Strings, and all the way in 2009 with Coraline, the animation, the stop-motion animation is just so gorgeous in this film, and there was a couple of particular scenes that stood out to me, but one scene in particular that involves a boat, and it was during a storm. The way it was choreographed was just so amazing, and again, the way they shoot water, it sounds kind of silly, but it looks so realistic. I just love the animation that Laika has to give. But there were some standouts as far as the characters go. You know, I, I love me some Hugh Jackman, but I have to say, walking out of this film, Mr. Link, Z uh, voiced by Zach Galifianakis, was definitely a crowd pleaser. He was a, a fun, enjoyable character, and I liked kind of the journey that he went, in, went on in this film. And then Zoe Zaldana, I love whenever we get her in a film, whether it's her in live action, her in an animated film. I just love her voice. I love the energy she gives to her characters. I just, those were the two stands for me as far as characters go, but also that scene on the boat when you guys see it, you know what I'm talking about, which is incredible. All right, so transitioning to the negatives of this film. I have to say there weren't a lot of negatives, but I will say I had mentioned a little bit earlier in my positives. They address, you know, it is a kid-friendly film, and when those moments happen, again, I'm not the target audience for the kid jokes, but those jokes really, when they came out, they kind of hit kind of hard. As far as they didn't hit for me, they they didn't. I didn't find certain jokes funny because they were very kid friendly. And also, some of those story points in the movie kind of distracted from the overall art because they had to kind of do the kid jokes, you know, the fart jokes or the poop jokes, and it kind of threw. It kind of was just kind of throwaway lines at the time. Again, minor things, but I always like a, a, an animated film where they can just find a way to uh, appease all the audience without kind of dumbing it down at times. I felt like the film did that. Not a lot, but there was one or two moments where I could think of where it was just like, eh, that was a kid joke and it really didn't really land for me. Uh, as far as another negative, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the journey that our characters go on, but you've seen this film before. You, you kind of knew where things were going ahead. Again, I enjoyed the journey, even though I didn't, and again, I enjoyed it a lot because I didn't know what I was getting into, but once you kind of get an idea of what's going on and you kind of know how it ends, you know, I wanted something a little bit more unique that we got like in Kubo and Two Strings or like we got in Coraline. I wanted a little bit more uniqueness to the movie. And I will say as far as another negative before I wrap up and give you guys my score, two more negatives. The first act was a little rough, a little uneven. And also at the end of the day, I love me some Hugh Jackman, but I have to say, walk out of this film, even though he was our lead, you know, uh, uh, Leon Frost, the, the myth monster investigator, fun character, but I he wasn't my favorite character. I, I connected more to Mr. Link, connected more to Zoe Zaldana. So he wasn't a bad character, but I would say out of those bunches, he was probably my weakest link. And those were a little bit of my, uh, my negatives of the film. But again, still enjoyable. Wrapping up this review here, overall thoughts. This is a fun film. Again, the, the trailer does not do it justice. Because when I saw the trailer after I saw the film, I was like, wow, they were really kind of playing to the kid audience, which it is. You want the kids to be like, oh, I want to see this film. But then the parents are like, oh, this kind of looks silly, to, at least for me, in my opinion. But I think the film has a lot more layers, has more depth to it. It addresses the kid audience, but also the adult audience. And I thought the voice acting was great. The animation was fantastic. The messages were really good. So with that being said, guys, I'm giving this film a four out of five. I recommend you guys checking it out. I know we got some big blockbuster films in the theaters right now with Shazam. We got Captain Marvel still making money. We got Us. We have Pet Cemetery that just recently came out. And then when this movie does come out, we'll have Hellboy and then obviously Infinity or uh, Endgame coming out weeks later. So I hope this film finds an audience. I really think there's a lot that you guys will take away from this film. But definitely don't let the, the, the trailer, at least to me, didn't look that well, the trailer, but the film has a lot of heart and it's a fun time. So four out of five, check it out, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys saw this review and if you've seen the film let me know if you enjoyed it or not as well as like this video share this video follow us on all of our social media accounts check out all of our content on our channel now thank you guys for watching this review and we'll see you on the next one